Hey, what's going on, guys? It's D Squared Games here, and uh, this is Harrison, my friend, also known as SlyFox32. Uh, you can check out his channel at the link in the description. He makes really cool music, a lot of cool content. But anyway, he is unable to do that right now because his computer is actually fried. Yeah. Uh, can you tell them about the problem, Harrison? Yeah, so we had a bad motherboard. It was originally a B150, I think. So, uh, and uh, we went down to the store, uh, and they stopped making the motherboard that I have. But uh, luckily, Jack here had a uh, Z170, which is still compatible, and it'll actually work just fine. And we also had a bad RAM, uh, so uh, for now, I guess, uh, I don't know what we're going to do about that, but uh, so yeah, those are, the, those are the problems. So anyway, since the motherboard pretty much connects everything together in the computer, we're pretty much going to be rebuilding everything from the ground up, so this will be kind of a tutorial on how to build a PC featuring Sly Fox 32, the great intelligent. Okay, so we have the computer open now. Uh, Harrison, what are your what are your specs? What are you running in here? I personally have no clue. All right, uh, I think that's a GTX 1060. Other than that, I don't really know anything oh, about it. Oh yeah, the graphics card's a GTX 1060. All right, cool. So uh, yeah, the hard drive is still working and everything. So really, all we're replacing is the motherboard. So we're gonna start taking everything apart now. All right, so now Harrison is ta going to take out the uh, Wi-Fi card and the graphics card. Uh, and those are these screws here, and we'll just pull them out of the motherboard. Alright, so we just got out the graphics card. It is a GTX 1060. It's pretty dusty, as you can see. Uh, it's about two years old. I think I got it in December of 2016. Uh, it is now February of 2019. Alright, so now Harrison is taking out the fans so we have better access to the motherboard so we can just start unplugging everything and then take that out. Okay, so we just got the fans out, and so now we are going to start unplugging everything from the motherboard, uh, and that will allow us to unscrew it and take it out. All right, so we got everything unplugged, and now Harrison is unscrewing the motherboard so we can take it out. Here comes the motherboard. All right, we just took out the RAM stick, and now we are doing the cooler. And then we should be able to get at the CPU. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to pull the CPU out, and then we're going to clean it. So here we go, trap door sort of thing. And then pull the lever back. There you go. Okay, so now you're gonna take the CPU, which we have cleaned off, as you can see. It is a Core i5-6500. Um, you are going to take that, hold it by the edges, and there's a little gold triangle on the corner. And that lines up with the little... I really hope I hold this by the edges. Okay, so the gold triangle... Oh, that edges. Is, yeah, you're right. That is deceivingly a lot heavier than it should be. Okay, just lower it slowly in. And there you go. Don't press it down or anything. You got it. The notches on the sides are lined up. Yeah, so that's how you do it. You just drop it in and wait for the notches to be lined up. Okay, so now you can... This is the scariest part of building a computer, okay? Okay. You gotta take this this uh, tin, or just piece of metal, and put it down here, so it's behind the screw, and then you gotta close this bar down and put it down to how it was. And I say this is scary because you have to apply a lot of force and you're gonna think you're breaking the processor, but you're not. Oh boy. Perfect. Was that sketchy? Didn't feel that bad, honestly. A but trooper, real trooper here. All right, so now we're gonna get into, or here, how, why don't you install the RAM stick? Um, yeah. So to install the RAM, uh, you have to, it looks like all the RAM tabs, here, can you open those RAM tabs? It sh should be outwards. Oh, it was already. Yep, okay, so those ones are already open. All right, so there's a little notch in the RAM that lines up with this little notch in the slot. And then, so you wanna put it into the slot, and then you just wanna push firmly with both hands straight down on top. I really hope I'm doing this right. Yep. You should just get a satisfying snap. All right, perfect, you did it. Great. All right, well, you, you sort of did it, that's good. Uh, that'll work. 
So now we're going to put the cooler back on. Okay, so we just installed the cooler. Uh, it's It was still really dusty. We, we did the best we could. We don't have compressed air or anything. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, just trying to get the dust out because, like I said, this thing's two years old. Uh, the, there's still a little bit of dust in there, but for uh, however much we got out, you know, it should be serviceable. All right, yeah, anyway, um, now we're, I think, I think we're done. So now we have to go about new stuff that's not on the motherboard. Okay, so you can see here that we just replaced the I.O. shield, um, which is sharp as heck. And now we're going to put the motherboard back in the computer. So we're really not doing anything that crazy because we're not switching cases or anything. And there wasn't too much on the motherboard to begin with, so here we go. Alright, we managed to get the new motherboard and now we are going to plug everything in. So uh, here goes nothing. Okay, so the CPU plug goes up top here. Um, right up in there. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's this 8 pin connector. And I could just have it the wrong way. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got it. Then uh, Big Boy, which is our 24 pin. Uh, and the 24 pin goes right in this connector. It's the biggest of all the boys. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we got everything plugged in for the most part. We are now going to do these the fans that we took off. Plug those in, and then we're going to put in the Wi-Fi card, graphics card, and see if it boots up. What do you think is going to happen? Hopefully a success. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so as you can see, we got all of the fans screwed in, so now we're going to put in the Wi-Fi card and the graphics card. There. Okay, now is the big moment. We have everything plugged in. The computer's all put back together. So Harrison, give us a countdown and hit the power button. All right, ready? Oh wait, the monitors aren't on. We won't be able to tell if it turns on. Right, where's this one turn on? Oh. It should be at the bottom. All right, well, anyway, that one's on. Three, two, one. That's a great sign. That is a great sign. We've got the keyboard lighting up. We have the computer lighting up. And the monitor says, cable not connected. It's troubleshooting time. One hour later. Okay, so after about an hour of extensive troubleshooting, we moved the RAM and the video card around and now the computer's working as it should. Harrison's background says crunch, I don't know why. Uh, I think my it was- sister a pranked me, she changed it. All right. Anyway, that is, that is the conclusion to the video. Um, of the story, always trust the always factual and totally not wrong internet. Yeah, pretty much. And also Harrison's dad, who told us to switch where the video card was, yeah. which ended up being the problem. Actually, the problem was that um, when I had this in my computer, the motherboard, uh, I actually had an overclock on it, but Harrison's uh, CPU doesn't actually support overclocking, so it was trying to run at a higher voltage than it should have, which was causing it not to boot. So then once we switched the video card, it was able to set, it was able to reset the BIOS and uh, get into Windows. So yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Yes, T squared out.